2011 ended on a high note as multiple goals were achieved and brand buy-in seemed strong. Department heads were requesting data for everything from product launches to customer satisfaction on store staff. The Insights team wasn't resting on their recent successes. They started scoping out projects to automate data feeds, train additional employees, and expand on existing reports. It seems like nothing was out of reach. The team started to experiment with new projects. Voice of the employee, Facebook trending, blog tracking. Two words, bubble charts. I love bubble charts. A company that had previously used very little voice of the customer data was now trying to insert it everywhere and looking to use it to explain everything. We did have a lot going on. We started to feel quite overwhelmed. Once they opened Pandora's box, there were a lot of requests coming in. Honestly, I think that he was about to break down. He was kind of on the verge of losing it. I think Stan, let me gather my thoughts here. Every time we were ready to start something, we were getting a new request from people. I knew that I had to have a conversation with Stan to determine what our next steps were and how we could support charming shops. The wheels might have been coming off, but the team regrouped as they tried to hold things together. Charming shops started planning a new, longer-term contract. Staffing was supplemented with Clara Bridge resources, and the internal demands were prioritized. Things were settling down, but the biggest challenges were still ahead. With one announcement, things came to an almost immediate halt. So the acquisition. On June 15, 2012, Asina Retail officially completed its acquisition of Charming Shops Incorporated. And I think that Stan was trying to do his best to reassure his team and to maintain the course while his executives figured out how to handle the acquisition. That definitely threw a lot of uncertainty into the project. Uh, transition teams were being built, uh, projects were being reevaluated, and a lot of us were trying to figure out what our new role would be as we were acquired by Asina. A lot of things were really up in the air, and it was kind of a tough time. At the same time the Charming Shops was feeling its way through the acquisition, other projects faced challenges. I had no idea that setting up an API between two vendors would be so difficult. Nobody, and I mean nobody, wanted to transcribe voice into text. They only wanted to sell us call center and monitoring products that didn't work for us. The voice of the employee comments were flooded with questions about their stores and their jobs that they were concerned about. We really need to get people focused again. With distractions and hurdles mounting, the team did the best they could to forge forward, but the stress got to them. Stan and his team started to spiral into some dark, isolated places. Stan kept referring to our, our rough time as a dark time. And that was a little bit worrisome to us. We were pretty unsure what was going to happen next, but we knew we had to start planning for the future. We were definitely at a high point, um, and then all of a sudden it was like the rug got taken out from underneath us. Um, we were literally at a point where we were trying to figure out um, if this project was going to keep going, if we were going to be able to renew the contract, and if we were going to uh, keep working with the people that we were already working with. Stan seemed confused, uh, burdened with a pretty significant workload. Things weren't, things weren't always working out. Can we, can we stop for a bit? Seriously. You don't have to stop, you can just, just be honest with your answer. It's all right, just get it out. Look, I don't know that I want this on there. Oh, seriously. Get the Although the team was hitting all-time lows each day, they had not hit rock bottom yet. With financial investment and the project's future on the line, turnover struck. As the end of 2012 approached, the team was advised that a key member would be leaving. For good. We lost a key member of the team, uh, someone that was really helping to drive it, but you know, what was I going to do? I'm gonna cry about it? I actually cried 